All right, thanks for watching. And from the producer of Eye to the Eye and Ellen of Eye and Squirt of Ellen of Eye comes another special, namely, what is the eye root of eye? That is very interesting. And for this, let's just do an analogy with the real numbers. And by the way, I've never tried that, so I'm very interested to see what the result is. So what is the alpha root of x? Well, it's x to the 1 over alpha, right? And therefore, the ith root of i becomes i to 1 over i, but 1 over i, I have to remind you, you multiply both sides by i, and you get i over i squared, which is minus 1, and that becomes minus i. So what this is, it's i to the minus i, and that's one thing. Second of all, remember what x to the y is. Another way of writing this is e to the ln of x times y. So what this becomes, it becomes e to the ln of i times minus i. And now you have to be careful because uh, there's this ambiguity about ln of i because ln, ln, what this is, it's the number you have to raise e to to get your, your number, right? So ln of x, it's e to the what equals x. So now the question is, what is ln of i? So what number do you have to raise e to to get i? And unfortunately, there are many answers, right? There's i pi over 2. There's like i 5 pi over 2, i, uh, you know, 7 pi over 2, etc., etc. So really, the general answer is uh, i pi over 2 plus 2 pi m i. But there's something called the principal law, which tells you that um, you just have to take the number where the argument is between minus pi and pi, so in other words, we can ignore this, and we get e to the e to the i pi over 2 times minus i, and oh my god, I didn't realize this, but you get a real number, e to the pi over 2. Oh my god! And uh, yes, oh my god, but I just realized it kind of makes sense because to get the i root of i, you get e pi over 2, and it makes sense because if you raise i e pi over 2 to the i power, you should get i, and this is precisely true. But still, how cool is that? The imaginary root of an imaginary number is real. <sighs> but again, be careful. This is like the principal imaginary root. Here you can have many real roots, actually, right? Depending on, you can always add um, like a 2 pi i, uh, 2 pi m to this. But so, I hope you like this little complex extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.